said, don't let them in. Those aren't painters. They said, we're here to paint. We're here to paint. And she said, they're not painters. Don't let them in. The movie Love Story was a gigantic hit back in the 1970s. Ryan O'Neill, Hollywood actor and star of Love Story, dies age 82. Ryan O'Neill, a leading star in the Hollywood in the 1970s known for iconic films such as Love Story and Paper Moon, has died, according to a series of emotional posts from his son. He was 82. In a point of turn of events, the world mourns the loss of Ryan O'Neill, the illustrious Hollywood actor and captivating star of timeless classics like Love Story and Paper Moon. The somber news of his passing at the age of 82 has been conveyed through heart-wrenching posts by his grieving son. O'Neill's journey in the realm of acting began in the 1960s, where he carved his path through various U.S. television shows, leaving an indelible mark with appearances on iconic programs such as The Untouchables, General Electric Theater, and Leave it to Beaver. Transitioning to a regular role on NBC's Empire and later captivating audiences on the primetime serial drama Pete in Place, O'Neill's talent was undeniable. O'Neill made his way as an actor by starring in various U.S. television shows in the 1960s. He was a guest actor on shows like The Untouchables, General Electric Theater, Leave it to Beaver, and more. He went on to be a regular on NBC's Empire and later the primetime serial drama Pete in Place. He catapulted to global fame in 1970 upon starring opposite Ailey McGraw in Love Story, a film that nabbed him Golden Globe and Oscar nominations. He was 29 years old and had spent a decade on television, but had made only two other movies when he was chosen to star in Arthur Hiller's Sentimental Romance, written by Eric Siegel, who turned his screenplay into a best-selling novel. His performance as Oliver Barrett IV, a wealthy, golden-haired Harvard hockey player married to a dying woman played by Ellie McGraw, garnered him the only Academy Award nomination of his career. He had played the town rich boy, Rodney Harrington, for five years on the primetime soap opera Peyton Place. But in 1970, Hollywood was not that interested in television actors, and he had been far from the first choice to star in Love Story. O'Neill was married to and divorced from actresses Joanna Moore and Peyton Place co-star Lee Taylor Young before beginning an on-and-off 30-year relationship with actress and Charlie's Angels icon Farrah Fawcett that ended with her death at age 62 on June 25, 2009. In Arthur Hiller's Love Story 1970, O'Neill played a college kid from a wealthy family. He sacrifices his riches as he falls for McGraw's lovely Jenny, a wisecracking, working-class girl, only to watch her agonizingly succumb to a rare blood disease. In the ensuing years, watching Love Story upsets me, actually, he told Piers Morgan in 2011. I lost Farrah to cancer and I just wonder why that played out that way for me. One was just a big deal and so successful, and then in real life it was just the opposite, a tragedy. Adapted from the sensational selling novel by Yale professor Eric Siegel, who also wrote the screenplay and released in theaters mere months after the book entered stores, Love Story, made for less than $2 million, grossed $106.4 million at the box office. The drama also received seven Oscar nominations, including one for Best Picture and one for Best Score. O'Neill was the father to four children, Tatum O'Neill and Griffin O'Neill, whom he had with his first wife, Moore, Patrick O'Neill with his second wife, Taylor Young and Redmond James Fawcett O'Neill with his longtime partner Fawcett. The news of Ryan O'Neill's passing sent shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond. His son, with a heavy heart, shared the sorrowful news of the iconic actor's demise. The world mourned the loss of a Hollywood legend known for his captivating performances in Love Story and Paper Moon. As the curtain fell on O'Neill's life at the age of 82, memories of his journey from television shows in the 1960s to global fame with Love Story flooded the minds of fans. The once young and golden-haired Harvard hockey player, who charmed audiences opposite Ellie McGraw, had left an indelible mark on the industry. Despite facing initial skepticism as a television actor in the film industry, O'Neill's portrayal of Oliver Barrett Ivy earned him acclaim and a rare Academy Award nomination. His personal life, marked by marriages, divorces, and a poignant three-decade-long connection with Farrah Fawcett, added layers to the narrative of a man who lived both on and off the screen. In his wake, O'Neill left behind a legacy, not just as a talented actor, but as a father to Tatum, Griffin, Patrick, and Redmond James. The world mourned the loss of a Hollywood luminary whose journey had intertwined with love, fame, and the bittersweet symphony of life, concluding with the final curtain call at the age of 82.